Guys, another tutorial with Windows 10 on my new laptop. Well, it's not new, but it's new to me. Um, so uh, I've got a Windows 10 laptop now. It was Windows 7, so it's not gonna have as many features as normally. But uh, I haven't seen a tutorial on YouTube yet about this, so I figured I'd do it. Um, most people like having CDs and you know listening to music, but why not just convert it, you know, and Put it on, <laughs> God, jeez. Put it on flash drive or on your computer or an SD card, like what I use. Um. So first thing you're gonna want to do is, uh, for Windows 10 users, uh, if you went from Windows 7 like I did to Windows 10, um, then you're gonna want to search this up. Put in Windows. Media Player. So what that's going to do is it's going to obviously you will still have the app from Windows 7. So you're just going to open it up. But you're still going to have a program. So um, now you can uh, you know minimize that. You know don't exit out. Just go up and do that. So um. Next thing you want to do is get a CD. I have a Rob Zombie CD that I love very much. I love his songs. and So I'm going to convert it. Or rip it as it is said. I'm sorry, I the button's like very busted on this. I cannot find it. That shit, what part? No, of course. Oh, sorry for my swearing. Okay, put that in. Close it. Let it load. Okay, well that's doing that. I'm gonna get open. Uh, open up your file manager, and also minimize that and whatever uh, thing you have for you know music and you want to sync that. Now uh, I have iTunes, so I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna open it up. Okay, come back, come back, come back, come back, come on. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna might take forever since this. Okay, so you want to see the notification of the deed. DVD ready, so my iTunes is all loaded up. Now I just gotta wait. Or I could just do this. Okay, so it's all good. Alright, so now that your disc has, uh, since you got a notification, um, you want to open back up Windows Media Player. And as you can see, your disc will be scanned. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go to RIP Settings. Uh, Format, and you want to, okay, format, oh, Jesus Christ, you want to make sure it's on MP3, okay, then you want to go to audio quality and set it to what you want, I want it at best quality, so I got set for that, so once you've got your settings all set to what you want, here's the songs on the CD, then you're going to want to go press rip CD, I know you. and then it will start ripping it. Give it a sec. It's loading, loading. So as you can hear, my laptop is getting very loud, as you can see. As you can see, it is ripping. So now uh, you can minimize that. Let it do its thing. God, this thing is just vibrating. I oh, cheese um. Can I make a YouTube video on privacy? No. I freaking lord, I hate guys around. So, um, it will make a file, you know, whatever it's called. I don't give a shit. It's not Yeah, Anyway, um, that was not here before, so I'm going to double click on that. And, of course, zombie and dinosaur, I don't know. Rob Zombie obviously says Zombie obviously says Rob Zombie. As you can see, here is his songs. So uh, I don't have a thing where I can pause it. I don't have a good video editor where I can trim it. Uh, I just hope this goes by fast. You know, see. Sorry. Moving on to the third song. Ripping your CDs is very fast. Once it gets past the first two songs, if, depending on how many songs you have, <clears throat> it will <clears throat> rip 
them you'll start to learn to start ripping them faster as you can see it's ripping right through them <laughs> that's a funny term but uh, as long as you got this all set up to what you want it will save it even if you close it if you close it and then you got an RCD and you want for you want to rip it then there you go okay I just need to get rid of that noise so now that my ripping is done I now will go to the file and I'm going to drag it to my SD card and moving so now you can take out your CD and you can set it aside and you can close the tray depending on how many times you plan on doing this so it's all moved now I'm going to get this file off of my computer I'm just going to delete it okay exit out go to recycle bin right click delete yes okay that's all done now I'm going back to my iTunes let that load okay so that's all loaded up now of course I gotta go to this go to Eva I'm just showing this off I know most people don't use iTunes but I do but I'm gonna show you how to set it up uh, because Groove Music is still set up the same way. So I'm going to my SD card. Uh, it's going to be under this. And then I'm going to select all files by pressing Control. See? Control, press it, and A. And it'll select them all. And then all I got to do is press Open. Um, and that should be it. Um... There's the Rob Zombie song. There you go, guys. That's how you um, rip your CDs to your PC on Windows 10. Thank you for watching. Jacob out.